Hey everybody, here we are. Call of Cthulhu just came out. I had played literally none of it. I've installed it. So hopefully it's creepy because it's Halloween. I survived another Halloween trick-or-treating with the kids. Last couple days I've been just felt awful and tired and it's sinus things going on and just awful. But uh, I really, after trick-or-treating, I wanted to sit down and check this game out. And uh, it just kind of fits with the day. So we're going to enter madness. Madness? Or is it Sparta? <laughs> Hilarious. An oldie, but a goodie. Let's see what happens. Literally. Just installed, so... I start it to make sure it started, so we're gonna overwrite that one. We are apparently Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War. Drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. That just means he likes what I like. <laughs> uh, holy cow, hope everybody had a good Halloween. Had some friendly ghosts and goblins. Oh, we're going to enter madness again. Cool. I don't need, know if they needed to subtitle the written text on the screen. I don't know how the sound levels are either. Hopefully it's not too loud or too quiet. It looks like it's uh, probably about right. And uh, from the looks of it, it looks like we're somewhere very unpleasant. Being saved. Oh man, what the hell is really going on here? Okay, well that's got a vibe to it. What the hell? Ah, I can sneak. One of my favorite things. Found it out right away. So these are tuna? Maybe luck they were tuna. No, look at the tail. They're sharks. Oh yeah, that's a shark. Somebody's down here making shark steaks. Yeah, I already know how to crouch. Oh, what's this? E interacts with things? Holy cow. Hopefully they used all the Elder Scrolls uh, <laughs> key bindings. It'll make it really easy to do. What the hell? Where the hell am I? So this is just how this starts. Uh, apparently you're just in a cave and you can't get out. It looks like it's <clears throat> FPS is lagging on the stream a little bit. I may need to increase it. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay. Hang on just a second. I don't know what's going to happen when I do this while the stream's going, but we're going to find out. Apparently. Oh, no. Okay. 
Nothing's going to happen because I can't do it while the stream's running. What's this? Oh, maybe I should stand up to, <laughs> to see it. I'm still duck walking around just like crouching and shit. Oh, bolt cutters, I'll bet. What is... What's... What the fuck is this place? Whoa. That's something we want no part of. Can I sprint? Yep. The usual, uh, usual keys. Okay, do I want to go that way? Maybe I want to go through the other one. But I originally saw... Oh look, some rope. You can always use a good length of rope. That looks like sturdy rope. Nope, won't let me take it. That doesn't sound great. Oh, I couldn't stand up for a second there. I thought there was somebody down there. Yeah, okay, they both went to the same place. I suspected as much, but I uh, thought I'd find out. What a putrid offering. Yeah, right? It's disgusting. Who would do such a thing? Oh, look. An orca. It's dead, too. Uh, uh, Alright. Enough of that. Enough of that business. Uh, how are we? Okay, do I need to run? Apparently I do. Told me to run, so I'm running. I'm running! Behold. Everything has already been written. Follow these dudes. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. What's up with his face? They're all faceless. Whoops. See you later, buddy. Oh, that wasn't me. Oh, that was me. Holy shit. Wakey, wakey. Oh, freaking me the fuck out. I hate whiskey. Yeah. Don't drink whiskey. It's fucking awful, kids. Let me tell you. Only the rum. Only the rum is good. I wonder why I still take these things. The doc doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to the nightmares. For a while now, their effect has been wearing off. The music's crazy. Use with caution, it says. Okay. Cool. Hey. I took them. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. It's been too long since I slept in a bed. I don't have time for lobster thermidor. Oh wait, that's Lego Batman. The Lost right. Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. That isn't courage. I used to be an avid reader. But then you took an arrow to the knee, or you got a paper cut. One of them. I think that sounds too loud. Just a little bit, huh? 
Shit, son. That was the wrong thing. Sound. I don't necessarily want to lower that volume. I think I'll lower the overall. Mm. Oh, eh, maybe not. We'll try this. It just looked like it was really loud. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Can't win them all. Um, okay. I opened the drawer. When I get right up next to something, I can't stand back up from crouching. I open the door, but I can't, or the drawer, but I can't see in there. Or maybe I'm not supposed to be able to get that out of there. I'm just supposed to open it. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling her weeks after the investigation had been closed. Okay. The mouse speed and the mouse look is like fast enough, but when you're in menus and stuff, it's slow. It's that good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. The law. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. All fun stuff. Oh, yeah. Turn that shit off. Oh, no. Turn it back on. Oh, you can't. Now the game randomly saved. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Okay, so here is... Holy shit. Wow. At least that's not complicated looking at all. Altism, medicine, strength, eloquence, spot hidden, psychological, and investigation. That's already three of five. That's two. So definitely occultism. We're going to need to raise. What's this? Ability to influence those you talk to. Medical medicine. What's some dark water? Inventory. A lighter. My old lighter that I engraved in memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. Uh, that he engraved badly. Um, AE submenus inspect. Oh, look. Then you can go to inspection mode and you can actually turn it around. It's nice, except for the aforementioned mouse speed issue. Oh, now the mouse speed's just slow in general. What's this? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, have a drink. What do I look like? Some kind of Nancy? Have a drink. U.S. is voted dry. Fuck all that, Silent Bob. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted... That's me, Dame. That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a... J.G. Wentworth? I need Fire cash now. destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay, so now I have eight points. Oh, look at that. It only goes up incrementally, too. So to get to two of five, it's, it's going to take a tremendous amount of points. How about this one? Amateur 
professional investigator. Strength, not bad. That's not bad. Psychology. Do that one a little bit. I want to get occultism up because I want to be uh, I want to be Constantine I don't know I to use two more points improve the skill increase your chance of determining the dosage of a drug if making a Diagnosis or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. All right, I'll do it. We'll do that. Holy crap. Those points have gone a long way, the eight points that I had. Sure. Oh, he's trying to move like sideways all by himself. As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Well, I've been busy drinking Work and is scarce. sleeping. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? See you later, butthole. <laughs> Just hangs up on me. Oh, somebody's here. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. That's what people say when they come to my house, to too. Any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me... That was weird. It, like, means you're desperate. changed Nobody from the cinematic me. view to the first-person character fool. view again, and the whole Sarah, sound quality and everything girl. changed. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The Not Sarah Hawkins. Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. Nah. She would you can't handle the truth. Such a thing. I don't know if you've heard that but before. If you have but, uh, no proof. I've That's brought that. all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. See, now the sound volume went way down when it changed to this other view. No, it's the Ragman. I know him. Tell me. Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, nope. On the contrary, As mentioned before, it's Sparta. Logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? Now the sound changed. <laughs> it I placed a file got on much your desk. louder it again. contains everything I have Oh, that's unusual. That may be something that needs patching. It must be going to a different sound like when it does that view, the cinematic view where it shows your character and the NPC. It must be using like the mu movie or music track volume or something. I don't know. 
It's not using the right volume. A warehouse on Darkware. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. The shipping label, some of it's unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in a dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they never lost insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. And nothing on the back. Dark water, you don't have any information. Places. Oh, that's my place. Clues to file on Sarah Hawkins. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I see. Let's see. Okay. Examine the pain. Let's have a look. -see. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? <clears throat> the sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. Then you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. <laughs> Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son. Boston? I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I don't want to go to Baston. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. Visions. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Something's her not right about this story. The island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. What do you mean, Something my situation? Quiet. But it's not like I have a choice. What do you mean by you people? Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information. I used to be an avid reader. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. 
But it seems to have been shown since then. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes, but don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunter, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. Fabuloso. Atlas of Atlantic Islands. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Let's see what we find out. The cursed artist says. Into madness, madness, madness. This is dark water. Oh, I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Ooh, I'm embroiled in a uh, intro sequence. Look at me. I'm on a boat. Sparking a fat blunt on a boat. <laughs> Almost there, just talk. Keep looking that way and smoke your fat blunt. Holy shit, it's Skull Island. Well, don't park your boat like that guy did. <clears throat> Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Thanks, buddy. Why, thank you. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Well, this Charles place is in Hawkins shit shape. shape. Look at this fucking dock. There's only a dock in the most academic sense of the term. And his wife. Sarah Hawkins. Not safe at all. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll good find thought. me at the Harbour Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, 
I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. I want to see this giant fish over here. Let the police do their work. Hey, Sullivan. Can't go any faster. You can't do that. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. You're totally out of your depth. These sailors get upset over nothing. Ask I'm looking for this address. Says. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Um, uh, ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. I'm the guy. Edward Pierce, private detective. I came on In the any boat, case, it's not motherfucker. Very important. I can't answer that. Oh. You can't? Or you don't want to? Yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget stupid it. Stupid idiot. Anyway. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. And I'm not that it. special. It's a sign. What the fuck are you trying to do? Oh. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. I wonder if I can walk around these guys. Damn I bet not. Idiots. I bet I can't see the Forget other side it. of Nobody it. Nobody listens to us anyway. Well, it's like there's a big uh, bite out of it for sure. Oh, yeah. Maybe the Kraken. The Kraken. Oh, look at that place up there. I'm buying that. My retirement home right there. Creepy Island, Rock Precipice with a house on it. Yep, number one. Prohibition. Prohibition. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits, that suits me, me fine. fine. That suits me. Cause I'm just a joke around here too. <laughs> so, got a little bit of the rosacea, eh? I need some skin cream. Whoa. Did my character seriously just do that? Okay. He's got a bit of a dick streak in him, I guess. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. You're overdoing it. The guy didn't show respect. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. <laughs> well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. I'm trying not to forget it. I'm here yes, for information. I mean, no okay. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. That's just Screams, the way I like it. That sort of thing. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? 
I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. <laughs> Try this, it'll really fuck you up. Cool. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> Why's the screen gonna start wavering? I'm gonna fall over. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this? Oh, it told miracle? me something about the effect. You mean of who? Something, but I didn't catch Our it. source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I can't handle the truth after a bottle of whiskey. Uh, it's true. Her style it's strange. Made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured. Tortured. Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. No. We saw them in the papers, and we said to ourselves. Yes. Who can paint such things? Is that right. how she sees the world? So they made Maybe. you feel uncomfortable. You need to see them for yourself. It made you feel Make uncomfortable? Your own mind. Show me on the doll where they touched you. All I've right. got what I need. Anything else? What's up with the uh, name of the, the bar? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. Dock water. Whalers left for long months and came back. Sounded like Peter and Griffin. the oil and dock flesh water. of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Cool. Well, nice... Talking to you for a second. That'll be See all. You later, butthole. <clears throat> and you. Can I kick his stool again and fuck him up? Uh, where'd the sexy lady smoking the cigarette go? Oh, she's here. Hey. What you looking at, stranger? You. What's a woman like you doing in a place like this? What's a place like this doing on a woman like you? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me <clears> something <throat> I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what's going through my head? Jeez. I told you to one. beat it. Oh, yeah. You did, too. Talk to Fitzroy. I already talked to Fitz. Oh, no. Fitzroy's over in the... All right, the captain. He's over in the... Uh, dock. Do you guys, like our order. song? I do. <laughs> We're true sirens. We may Fire not us. be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. No. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. The Miraculous Cat. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the Miraculous Catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. <clears throat> ah. 
Fantasy the Island. <laughs> Weird Apu. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted so me, its flesh. Look, right behind and you. it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. Yep. So See you long. later, buttholes. Hmm. Hey, what, what are you doing? Nightmares. Algernon Drake, he has a cool name. Whispering. We'll follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. The what now? What are you reading about? Hmm. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. The Sila, that's the uh, ship that's crashed on the breakers right outside of the harbor. We passed it on the way in. We'd given up hope. The crew of the Sila, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Hey, look, I can just pull it off the wall and turn it around. And then and then put it back down. It'll be fine. <laughs> you have no right to okay. treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? Who are you fools? He laughed. My God. You say. God. Uh. But you'll do it again, right? See you later, loser. These fools out here, old Smoky Joe, old Cool Standing Bob. He's got a pose on him, and his brother, not quite so cool standing, not Bob, <laughs> not Bob. He said, "Not Bob." Still trying to get that whale body in the water. I don't know why that's a good thing. And if whaling's over, there's no whales. Where'd that one come from? <clears throat> so confused. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. The terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Okay. The cat carrier. This place is like everything here is fucked up and falling apart. Like this is probably not at all safe to be out here. That's why I'm out here. Holy shit, look at this. That's not up to code anywhere. Hey, I buddy. brought out the Charles Hawkins <coughs> cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Okay, on the deck. You call that a deck? That's a fucking death trap. No wonder this game's supposed to be scary. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. And that's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Redacted. Yeah, you have fun on that duck, buddy. Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. As I mentioned already. The learning of medicine. 
Okay. Does it help me in some way? Yes, it does. Okay, it improved my skill. Cool. Skill. My skill. God. I wonder what the upstairs of this joint's gonna look like. Oh, a big trunk like that, standing up like that. You just expect it to open in some creepy little kid or like a fucking living ventriloquist dummy comes popping out at you. Why not? Could happen. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. He has one leg. Please make a note of it. What a macabre souvenir. Oh, look. The wooden leg. Macabre. It was macabre. What he said. Why were you late for work? Because my car broke. What? <laughs> my car broke? Kind of sound like what he said. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Hey, look, a shitter. <laughs> We're in business. Let's let's clog this fucker up. Let's get to it. Probably already clogged up. Probably got a wooden leg shoved on it. Seriously? That wants me to walk over here. Uh yep. That's crazy to oh I kinda come out the front door, eh? <laughs> and I walked like I walked around the most dangerous fucking deck in the world. When I could have just walked out the other door. Alright, whatever. From All here right. I see everything that goes on in the hot. So why don't you tell me the about hard everything? working lives of my sailors, the fights at the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. The law. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I already seen it, buddy. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, you're going to take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other? You're talking about mythology. I knew a girl uh, like that indeed, once. Indeed, you're right. Okay. What is this miraculous, miraculous catch? catch? Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Yeah, I read it. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? 
I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? I'm going through Not everything, exactly buddy. No. <laughs> I mean, that you know, there's... still wants to make us pay protection money. I'm walking around with a success. picture of his old man from his that, room. He doesn't think I'm going through everything. My man as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. So, uh... Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I totally. saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Maybe. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. Boom! I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Caught you Indeed, in a little maritime trap. maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. The Understood. one with the creepy guy you know standing in front of it that looks like Slenderman? All right, cool. Uh, you know who the building belongs to, don't you? No, you I have no me. idea. I thought you would have worked it out. It belonged to Charles Hawkins. Ship owners from father to son. I see. I that was just playing those loading uh, manifests. Too uh, bad I can't get I'm much doing a good it. job of it. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I shall be on my way. So I'm gonna keep this picture of your old man just to... for a fucking souvenir. See you later, butthole. We got a character point. So we gotta go to here. Then you gotta go to here. So I can't raise these anymore, is what they're telling me. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad I pumped some points into them before uh, I couldn't raise them anymore. Psychology. Probably good. I'm a tour. That might be good as well. Who knows? I don't know, and you don't want to know. Holy cow, I can see these freaks now. Was she supposed to be the nut that killed her family? It's just one thing. I don't think it's that simple. R. Captain Fitzroy, it be. Wonder if I have to. Do I have to save this game? No, it's checkpoint save. Fucking hate checkpoint save, but I noticed it had been automatically saving here and there. These guys are just walking like in a single file line. The walk just kind of like they're just like confused as to where they're going or they're zombies or something. And they both sit down. Cool. Hey, what's up? We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. Not worth the effort. I told him, that flunky, that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Oh, I thought Calm he was going to puke. <sighs> They'll see what you got in your belly because you drank too much and you're going to puke. Okay, oh, oh. Now they moved the whale. You can't understand. You're not sailors. 
It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that Look at that. In the water, you that big bloody gouge. The water looks disgusting here too. Just like everything else. This place is just thick. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that And then there's like this giant warehouse factory looking thing over here. Those things are straight, but every other building <clears throat> nothing no, there's no straight lines really on them. Notice? Or very few straight lines. Hey, uh, Leroy, where do you think what are you you're doing? going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So, what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? I am, you son of a bitch. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left I'm assuming that's the big house on the, the high accident is rocky precipice. badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you would. Don't mind me. Walking by. See you later. As with all really cool games like this, there's absolutely no jumping, so. Come on, you could tell me. No. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Like a hungry dog. I'm hungry like the wolf. Fucker. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't give a damn about your racket. I just I want to get into this damn. warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. Uh, I've just I don't. arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Cat. Cat. She's your boss. What? You listen through Keyhole. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> She redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> she sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. She sounds frightening, your and she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. So why don't you bring her front out here and we'll talk about her. What are you guarding exactly? Listen, Bonehead, we already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. I bid you gentlemen farewell. Hmm. Okay, well, that's not working. Hey, uh, you know these criminals are around the side of the building. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. 
Oh, nope. I'm beating it. All right. I gotta get those fools to move. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Who are these two guys, guys that keep guard? Them. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. Scum. They're protecting their territory. Criminal from whom, scum. I wonder. They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening. I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business. Sounds about That's right. In it for us. What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. Oh, bootleggers. I'll be back. Take your time. We're going nowhere. Yeah, but you're getting more sober by the minute be less likely to convince you to do something stupid oh there's that statue and he says that dude's always going out to that statue let's go have a look see let's see what it is holy crap yeah hmm. i found your uh found your vacation home Holy fuck, can I pick a lock? Damnation, I broke it. Apparently the answer is fucking no. What's going on here? There's some writing on it. I can't seem to make it out because it's in some kind of script. Interesting. Oh shit, I can get right down in front of this. Saint Brendan the Navigator. Look at this. Saint Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. I already said that, dude. That guy said whales and whalers or something. He said sailors and travelers a little bit different okay we gotta try to find some booze for these cats get them to do what we want That's all they want is some booze. I respect that about them. Ooh, can I have your harpoon? Fucking phenomenal. What can hey, I get you? I need uh Let's say I want to buy a bottle from you. Choice is yours. Everything's on sale. Everything has its price. How much for a bottle of whiskey? Five dollars. 
I guess I'm not desperate. I'm not judging you. That'll be all for now. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. 60 bones? Holy cow. What the hell of a tab. Or if that was like one night or... You know, a weekend bender or what? Alright, let me give these drunk bastards this whiskey and get them to take out these guards. So, What's up? Have you got what we asked you for? Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. Here Look you go. what I've got. You're a good guy, you. I am. Follow me. Do the letter drunk, guys. I don't feel well. Cheers, you jackass. <laughs> No, no, it's not what you sneaking. Ah, <laughs> uh, got rid of him. Let's see. Well, no, we won't see because it's fucking dark. Oh, this place stinks. Just like me. What, what is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Reconstruction. To enter a reconstruction scene, hold the mouse button. Right. I don't see it. I'm not getting it. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Oh, that feels. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Well, I hope I don't have to do that too many times. The fuck is that bright? Ugh. Hard to see anything. So what did I learn? I learned officially Unused since Charles Hawkins' death, this warehouse recently housed a clandestine resident. Signs of life attest to the fact. The presence of blood-stained bandages must also be noted, probably removed from a wound, as well as pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life. Photograph press cutting. What is discovery of a partially charred painting recognized by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawkins mansion that allows all doubts to be lifted as to the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case? I have two more points. No, no, no. Cool. Just pop out the front door. Hey, cop. Haha, <laughs> didn't keep me out, bastard. Oh, someone is 
settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective oh, God Pierce. Damn it. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. I got caught again. Let's let's team up. Let's be super friends. He doesn't look like the super friends type. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Um, threaten the police officer. That sounds like a great fucking plan. Someone else is interested in Hawkins. The case is far from being wound, wound up. up. You mean messed up? Yeah, you no. mean messed up. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? Yeah. A strange portrait. Answer that one, but butthole. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirmed... Okay, so that's why the description the of the painting said that he confirmed it was in the mansion. And he hadn't even come in the I'd door like to yet. see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? We're going to the mansion. Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Not really, it was the drunks around the corner. God damn it. Her again. Is it cat? I think it is. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Oh! Why are you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, that's I get her. It. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Oh, I certainly hope so. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. Mansion? You see the building? Yeah, the house I saw when I came in and said, boy, that would make a cool house. I want to retire to it. Garden of the Hawkins Mansion, Chapter 3. Oh, boy. Here's plans to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation as well as a partly charred, charred painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. Police officers wanted to drive the detective to the Hawkins Mansion. And we're going to, once again, enter madness. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Wow. The place has been abandoned <laughs> since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Old fucking Winchester. Spot hidden. Professional. I thought the mansion burnt in a fire. You're not the first to talk about one church or anything I should be wary of. I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know. Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. They've nothing to do with your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. 
Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly, slightly unhinged. unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there in anything a creepy else way, I'm sure. Or do you want to go up there? No, I'd like to talk some more. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's follow this guy. We have to walk that way? Like Frankenstein? Jerry. All right, then. What's moving around in the underbrush? No man can say. Uh, I... I laid me down and slept. I awake for the Lord sustained. Okay, if you say so. What's really going on? Wait a minute. He's the guy that uh, cat cut his face. And he's the cop. I don't know. It's awful fishy. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Aha. Uh -huh. The flowers are fresh. Well, shit. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Let's Please go to the mansion. I didn't expect this. But I've not back. seen enough. Poor lady. kid. Look at this what one. Kind of deranged Poor kid. Who would defile yeah. this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Uh oh, there's Lord, a crow. 
Have pity on this poor family. Okay, can we go now? Like, how do we get to the fucking house, dude? Let's go. Alright, fuck him. See you later, butthole. Look at this scary ass Scooby Doo looking shit. Ruh roh raggy. Lots of crows. I'll have to find another entrance. Fuck, I knew he was gonna say that. They always say that in these games. I'm gonna have to find another entrance. Oh, it's dark. A light would be cool. If you could use the lighter to make light, that would be cool. Very. This entrance is still in use. That's gonna be that fucking dude. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick. Easy, sir. All right. Put down the axe. You know what we do at rubble like you? I want to ask we you a question. Them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh. Uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police no baloney. describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's... Danny it. vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Uh, I'm not I sure. I Zelda girl 25. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Uh, right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this <clears throat> Yeah, people always just give me stuff to get rid of me. Curse I have. Oh, finally the butthole showed up. He could have talked to the dude, but he is. like he said he was Shall gonna, but no. Yeah, let's go in. 
Stop bothering. Where were you on that one? Let's you said, oh, I'll talk to old I'm Silas so he doesn't flip out on you. Fuck no. You just fucking ditched me and stood there pissing on somebody's grave. Pearson Officer Bradley explored the gardens of the Hawkins Mansion. The family lies in the graveyard of the property guarded by Silas Winchester, the crazy old fucking caretaker. <clears throat> Still faithful to his employers. Keeps watching the place, armed with his axe. I got a close look at it. Pearson Bradley managed to calm him down and finally get a hold of the key to the Hawkins Mansion. They enter the building, looking for the scene of the fire. Enter madness. I know the place. All right. This light on. What? Five. A lot of lights on for nobody being here. Oh, there was some caller. The last supper of the Hawkins. Oh, now he pulls what the fucking lighter time? out. What an asshole. To reconstruct it. Okay. What kind of meat is this? Buffalo? I don't know. No. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. He said head. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, it's the head of something with the eyes and big tentacles, but. Oh, yeah, that's creepy. <clears throat> what else? Ah. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Well, that's not going to win him any awards. Sarah Hawkins' plate. <clears throat> Why did she leave it untouched? Because Something happened at this time. Bloody, table. disgusting meat. An argument? Okay. Daydreaming again. Yes. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. It well, sucks. We they ate some really Soon weird shit too. Next door. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Middle class family? Have you seen the size of this fucking place? Holy fuck. That's just crazy talk. Where did Butthole Bob go? Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. See if I can find something the cops missed. Well, there's a silhouette of a dude. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the oh. others? Damn shame what they did to that dog. They had a fight. Why? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? She got bitch slapped, it looks like. Not good. <clears throat> Did it stop at the time of the fire? Maybe. Oh, look. Food. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Yes, he was. We've already established that. <clears throat> he has a hell of a tab at the bar. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Because it's all together evil.
what else? What else? Oh, it says. It's got a check mark next to the question mark, but uh, was she in fact a bitch slapped by a drunk asshole? But it's not telling me to exit this moat yet. Okay, hang Did on. Someone escaped the fire. No, oh. there are scratches on the door. Desperate attempt to flee. So, detective, what do you make of it? It was a fire. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. <laughs> What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. It's to open this door. For some reason. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Taken. Okay, so the medicine skill is going up when I'm finding these medical books. But I need to find some stuff to make the occult skill go up. What the fuck was that? The whole floor flash for a second. I mean, some spots on the floor flash. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? But whose? I don't know. And you don't want to know. Uh, what does this say? Dear bastages. What? Thing it's not creepy. Uh, it's a, definitely a fixer upper. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated eighteen eighteen. Whoa! Holy shit! Yeah, the middle class, my foot. Hmm. Moby Dick, <clears throat> Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Whaler? Okay, I don't need the lighter out anymore, but... <clears throat> he just seems to get it out whenever he feels like it now. This place was falling apart long before the fire. True story. 
It was a fixer upper from day one. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. That would be the 1300s. And it's off of Boston. Madison progression again. Yep. I'm going to know something about medicine soon if I keep up that way. I'll take it. I'll move right in tomorrow. I'll take the big creepy burned house. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. All right. So you tell me what else? A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. Oh, what's this? What's this? There's something disturbing about this painting. Just the painting, right? Nothing else disturbs you here in this scene? 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. The mysteries of the deep. Where's Jacques Cousteau? The mysteries of the deep. over here what am I missing question uh, Greek mythology Hecate goddess of the dead daughter of Tartarus and mother of Scylla hey look I can turn the lamp on boy that was helpful What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? As you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to recur, believe me that... Although it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Well Wellard. Well, heard. That is a hell of a thing for you to say. Whoa, that's what the light was. Lightning. Shit. Locked. Kick it in. Locked. The boy's room. Uh, he made houses out of books. Kind of weird. It works, though, for some reason. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Simon? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Hmm. What the crap? That kid's got issues. Had. 
issues. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What was wrong with this family? Yeah, but sometimes necessary. You will go to sleep or I will put you to sleep. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Time to die! Oh no. I'm being raided. Thank you. <laughs> Hope everybody had a great Halloween. I'm just in a creepy old house for Halloween. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. I am missing a piece. Well met. Hello. Oh, what am I missing? The drawings. I wanted to look at them before. What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Same kind Simon's of troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Thanks for joining the party. Something terrified him. Something terrified him. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. What's this? Ah, in this room. Locked. Locked. We gotta start kicking some of these doors open. Ooh, what's this? The office key. Nice. I'll take it. What will her room reveal about her? have been boozled i'm not familiar with that and something tells me i might be uh happy that i'm not familiar with that being boozled what's going on here i don't see anything in this room and everything looks like really not screwed up. Charts. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. That just means she likes what I like. <laughs> there was vomit. I don't want to know. Let's see if I can pick this. The answer is yes. Perfect. Perfect. Perfecto. Uh, well, that's probably not great. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? I don't know. If my occult score was higher, I was more like Constantine, I could probably figure that out, but I don't know. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. This looks like a boring ass ledger. It seems the thanks. last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Francis Sanders, not Harlan Sanders. Oh wait, he made chicken. Sorry. Oh, look at this. She's got this busted Jim Morrison in here though. I don't know why. That's weird. Swamp thing? I don't know. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings. The last one, so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been, are selling at a premium price. Your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend who was the first to recognize your genius and display it to the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. 
Maximilian L. Okay, great. So, Bradley? that Is that was you? the door I found the key to. And I just used the key to come out. Yeah, hey Bradley, was that you falling down the steps? What the fuck happened? I heard a good thud. Check see if he's still in the library. Oh, he's right there. Hey, I heard a noise. Was that you? What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles' inheritance. Was he a hophead, or did he roll fat blunts or if anything you're like right, that? We should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Hmm. Okay. Back at it, I guess. Run up the stairs. I was doing that till I heard a big thud and I thought you fell on your dumb ass. I came downstairs to check. Okay, so that was her room. I went through her room to get to the study. Here's a creepy door that's just open. Is anyone there? Anyone here? There's a lantern. Conveniently. There's a creepy picture. Yay. Um, there's a picture of me. That's probably not a good sign. Say it. You can say it. What the fuck? Holy fucking scream. You! Stop. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. Shit. Yup. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? Yeah, I knew he was gonna fucking say that. I just heard some noise. Uh, the guy that fucking had the screen mask the on punched me in the level. back. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. He can't be far. I'll cover you. Yeah, uh, you do that. Ah, I see. Yeah. If I want to get rid of the lantern, I can get the lighter back out now. Great. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? Uh, this bookshelf moves. That's pretty easy to tell. God, you're really not good at this cop stuff. Do you really think that your future... It looks like an old seaway map. Somebody's added coordinates to this old sea map. They make up a journey. A hell of a journey, too. England, Spain, off of Africa, the Azores, maybe Atlantis. Did it get maybe in not. Here? I don't see. No, not that out. again. Another Swamp Thing bust. Huge Swamp Thing fans. Oh, the oil reservoir of your lamp has been refilled. Well, shit, that's the reason for changing Clearly, light sources. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. But who's the third guy? He looks familiar. The bartender. I guarantee it. The bartender. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. It's the bartender. Probably another friend of Hawkins. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. Yeah, we've already covered that twice. 
What's this? Seems like this came from a log. Probably the log of the Scylla. I'm not reading all this crap. Holy shit. We have beaten Yorpheus, return with empty holds. The Scylla and Hamilton are only memories. The most grotesque whale I've ever laid eyes upon. There must be a link with the seaway map. Shit. Where this am I going? globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Oh, true story. Okay. I see. And that doesn't work. I must have missed something. That didn't work, huh? Hang on. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. The Scylla, the Prodigal, the Orpheus, the Saints, Claudine. Okay, so it's different boats. Scylla, the Orpheus, Prodigal, okay, I see. And the Saint, Saint, Santa Claudine? Question is, this should Ah, shit, son. So I don't know which one I'm supposed to line that up with. Yeah. Doesn't work. Okay. I must have missed something. Looks like the navigational it'll path. It'll work. Described in the log. It'll work. There's something that's going to tip off. They all, okay, so I need to go to dark water, probably. You think? Maybe? <laughs> Doesn't work. Hmm. I must have missed something. Are you guys going to go play the bean game again? Bean, bean boozled? <laughs> the fuck? Oh, uh, I wonder. Yeah, I'm not sure. Doesn't I'm, work. I know that's it. I must have missed something. Looks like there's the something on this that tells me where to put it. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> don't know what it is. There was nothing in here. There's so few things you can interact with in this game. I don't know why they'd have to interact with something that's absolutely nothing. It's in the. Uh, there must be it's a in this long ass the thing. Seaway map. What is eating these huge beasts? The waters are red with the blood of the sacred beasts. And to follow them is to defy the gods.
It sends out an infernal song. Uh, 33N North, 53 West. Looks like the navigational paths described. And that was right there. That's where they caught this giant beast. 30. Boom. Looks like it worked. Haha. -ha. Gotcha. Looks like well it done, worked. Peter. I just had to get my bean in motion. Not being so bean boozled by the puzzle. <laughs> oh boy, tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion. That sounds great. Inside the Hawkins Mansion, a scene of the fire revealed its secrets. Pearson Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had to undertaken the search to search the place looking for proof. When Hood Man leaped into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting, detective and police officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Pearson Bradley entered the tunnel under the mansion. Enter Madness. The secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. Uh, more like a defective novel with you around, buddy. Let me see if I have any points I can distribute. Fuck, I have a ton of them. Professional eloquence. Spotting hidden. Professional. Psychology. Professional. Strength is already professional. I might as well start raising investigation. Professional plus. Awesome. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. What is this place? Look. Someone's been here recently. Oh, it's a nice place. Three seats. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, fright. Don't stare directly at it for too long. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Yeah, to get just Who fucking absolutely others? obliterated so nobody had to watch him do it. Because he was a total drunk. What is this mask supposed to represent? I don't know. What are these faceless guys supposed to represent? He's wearing a robe too. Look at this guy. Oh geez, he disappeared. Doesn't have any eyes or a mouth. Come on, really? Freaky. Oh, look. It's not Mary and Jesus. It's Cthulhu and Eric Cartman, I guess. I don't know. What else? What else is in this scene? I don't see anything else. I'm interested in this friggin' book. What is the book? I'm not gonna tell you. Find the thief's trail. Oh, it's really white out there. Oh, that usually means I've missed something that I need to inspect. Oh, because it wouldn't let me inspect Did this. Did Charles first. Hawkins hide something in this chest? Maybe. Good question. Whoa. Dude, you scared me. You gotta do this stuff. You can't just go through the whole scene and and investigate each thing 
sometimes you have to investigate certain things before you can investigate another object and, and do it in a certain order. Can I get out of the freaky zone now? No, I can't. Is there something else I need to look at and I don't know what it is? Is it one of these dudes now or the book? Not the big creepy seed thing on the wall. Is it something about him? What could it possibly be? Oh wait, look. Over here. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Oh. You saw him having his little freak meeting. And that didn't end well. Okay. So now can I open this thing? This padlock is too complicated for me. You f in loser. What'd you find there, Bradley? Don't jump down there. It's not worth it. Holy shit. Well, I hate to do it, but it is a week night and look at the time and make sure kids are in bed and I'm still a little under weather, under the weather. So I got to get myself some rest as well, but I wanted to get on tonight since it was Halloween and I just got this and I wanted to start playing it and stream some of it and maybe I'll pick it up sometime later this weekend again or maybe tomorrow but I wouldn't count on it I'm not sure Bradley hey hey where are you going dude dude Bradley's just wandering off oh where fuck he's going I have to go find him well since I can't save it I'm sure I'll have to do that whole investigation again he's just He's gone. See you later. I'm just gonna—he's he's just gonna disappear. I'm just gonna hear this fucking scream. <laughs> he's just gonna be dead. But anyway, that was a little bit of Call of Cthulhu. Like I said, it, I, it just came out. It's pretty cool if you like this sort of thing. It's more like a story with investigation so far. There's not a lot of action, but it's getting there. It's got some cool uh, areas and stuff, but uh, hey, if you watch it and enjoy it, you don't follow my channel, please consider following my channel for past broadcasts. Check out my YouTube channel. They're all there. And as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.